There are many varieties of wheat. A variety refers to plants that have specific individual characteristics that sets them apart from other plants in the larger plant family or species. Let's examine the four varieties, as well as the barley plants, and discuss some of the characteristics. We will be examining the following wheat varieties, Blue, Amarillo, Durham, and Sonora. The wheat plants and a mixed barley blend grown in York Plot, come from the UC Davis Student Collaborative Organic Plant Breeding Education Program. They bred the wheat with the goal of combining improved yield, wheat competitiveness, lodging, and disease resistance. These varieties also have unique flavor profiles and quality characteristics. UC Amarillo. UC Amarillo is a hard white wheat variety with a yellow pigment that was tested in recent scope trials and released in 2019 from the wheat breeding program. This wheat has a high yellow pigmentation and this is due to carotenoid pigments and the accumulation of lutein. This white wheat variety has a restored yellow pigment gene from an older variety that increases lutein content. Lutein was bred out of modern wheat varieties in favor of wider flour. What are carotenoids? Carotenoids are pigments in many plants and animals that absorb certain wavelengths of light to exhibit yellow and orange hues. Carotenoids include nearly 700 classes, classified by structure. The differences in structure allow them to absorb different wavelengths of light. Lutein is in the xanthophylls class. These carotenoids are oxygenated and exhibit a pale yellow color. A metered type of xanthophylls is the xanthins, which is also a pale yellow. Lutein is the xanthins have several health benefits, including being an antioxidant. This means that they protect cells from reactive free radicals and single oxygen that can contribute to chronic diseases. You will see this hard wheat used in pizza, tortillas, and breads. Blue wheat. This wheat contains genes from tall wheat grass and wheat varieties originating in Inner Mongolia and Ethiopia. This wheat has a few unique colors as well, blue and purple. Blue pigments are found in the alarone layer. This color is controlled by two genes, BA1 from tall wheat grass and BA2 from einkorn, that originated in Inner Mongolia. Purple pigments are found in the pericarp layer. It is controlled by two independent genes, double P1 and double P2, originated in the tetraploid durum from Ethiopia. This wheat is also a hard wheat and is used in tortillas, waffles, bread, and pizza. Sonora wheat. Sonoran wheat is a soft white heritage wheat. It is a heritage grain meaning that it is a traditional variety of wheat that has been grown for a long time. It has drought and disease resistant properties, which allows it to be successfully grown in hot, dry, and desert-like environments. It first became adapted to the southwestern coast of the United States after being introduced by Spanish colonizers in the 1650s. Sonora wheat was first brought to the Sonora Desert by a Spaniard named Padre Lorenzo de Cardenas where it spread throughout indigenous communities and became a commonly grown crop. Soft white Sonora wheat has round grades that are opaque and pale colored with a hint of pink. They have a papery chaff that is reddish brown and barbless. It typically has lower protein and gluten contents than hard red or hard white wheat. This soft wheat is good for waffles or pancakes, tortillas, cookies, cakes, and crackers. UC Desert Gold, also known as Durham Wheat. This Durham Wheat variety is produced by UC Davis and grown in California for the pasta industry. It contains the yellow carotenoids we discussed earlier. Carotenoids seen in this wheat are lutein, zeaxanthins, and beta-carotene. 
Yellow pigmentation is found in the endosperm and is controlled by the PSY1 gene from tall wheat grass. Durum wheat typically has high carotenoid content. Carotenes, such as beta-carotene, are hydrocarbons that have an orange-yellow color. This wheat is perfect for pasta, including spaghetti, macaroni, bow ties, and many more. Mixed Barley On your plot, you may also have mixed barley. Barley is similar to wheat as it is in the cereal family and has on spikes and kernels. The UC Davis Scope program put together a mixture for California schools that captures barley diversity. It was originally developed by Oregon State University as the Oregon Naked Barley Blend, with additions of diverse varieties adapted to California. The kernels or grains are arranged in either two rows or six rows. Barley is fed to animals. It is also eaten by humans whole or ground into flour. You will see various colors present in this blend due to all the pigments we discussed earlier in this video. Now that you have some background knowledge on the different wheat varieties, let's examine the wheats in your plot so you can compare and analyze the different physical properties.